Hello class, I am Mom Aryan, your science teacher, and I am welcoming you to our third quarter for Science 8, Week 1 and 2. Our MELT, our most essential learning competency, is explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. Now we have here the learner's packet, or what we call DEEP, for week one. So for our bucket of why for this lesson is, or are, why is a stone compact, why does water flow, and why does the fragrance of perfume spread? In your grade 7 class, you learned how to classify substances according to elements, compounds, and mixtures. In this module, you will be on a magical journey where you will be uh, learning about the properties of matter. Are you ready? Uh, just like SpongeBob, I hope you are ready. So let's start this magical journey in the world of chemistry now. Try to look around. You can see different things like a table, a chair, books, pen, a glass of water, or even an electric fan. What do you think all these things have in common? These things are all examples of matter. But what's a matter? Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Consider this book. It takes a portion of space when you put it in a table. Your book occupies space. When you pour a glass of water in a glass of water, the water occupies the space inside the glass. When you blow air inside a balloon, the balloon inflates. This means that the air takes up the space inside the balloon because matter takes space. And what is that space? Volume. Volume is the space occupied by an object. Now, let's do this. Try lifting a glass. And then try lifting a box. Which is heavier? That's right. The box is heavier. But why? This is because the box has more mass. But what is mass? Mass is the amount of material in a body. And matter has mass. Now, we have here the states of matter. Matter can be classified as solid, liquid, and gas. And the following are the properties of solid, liquid, and gas. We will start with solid. An example of solid is like this picture, the book, the table, the chair, the flower. So solid has definite shape and volume. This means that solids maintains their shape and volume even if you transfer it to another container. Solids do not flow easily unlike liquids and gases. Liquid, on the other hand, has no definite shape but with definite volume. Liquid has no definite shape. This means that liquids take the shape of its container. Liquid has definite volume. 
it means that liquids do not change its volume even if you transfer it to another container. Liquids flow easily. And last, gas. Gas has no definite shape and volume. This means that gases takes the shape and volume of its container. And like liquids, gases flow easily. Now, what is the most common object that can be a solid, a liquid, and a gas? That's correct. Water. Water as ice, as puddle, and water vapor. We have here the states of matter. Water can be solid as ice, liquid as water puddle, and gas in a form of water vapor. Now, look at this picture. As you can see, the colder it is, the water becomes solid. The hotter it is, the water can become gas. But in what temperature? Water, when it is cold, reaching 0 degrees Celsius and below, it can become a piece of ice. And solid, when we boil the water, reaching 100 degrees Celsius and higher, it can become water vapor, a gas. Now, let's look back to our bucket of why. Why is a stone compact? A stone is an example of solid. And I know you can further explain this because of the lesson we have learned today. Next. Why does water flow? Liquids like water flow easily. And why does the fragrance of perfume spread? Because fragrance is a gas, just a liquid, gases flow easily. And that is all our lesson for today. This is Mom Aryan, your science teacher. And See you on our next lesson and remember, stay curious.